Hey, this is Craig from Bass Lessons Melbourne. Today I'm going to be talking about the brand new Boss OC5 and how that compares to the Boss OC2. Okay, so if any of you have seen my pedal board video, which you can watch by clicking this link up here, you'll know that I run two Boss OC2s on my pedal board. When I heard that Boss were bringing out a brand new octave pedal, the OC5, which is meant to recreate um, all those original OC2 sounds that we love as bass players, but with a few added extras, I was very interested. So this video isn't a detailed run through of every sound available on the OC5. I'm more comparing the OC5 sounds to the OC2 sounds. So we're gonna have octave one down, wet only, octave one and um, clean sound blended. And then I'm gonna show you some extra sounds that the OC5 does on top of that. So one of the things you might notice in that demo there with the octave down sound is that the OC5 has a lot of artifacts going on compared to the OC2. I found that the OC2 sounds a little bit smoother than the OC5. Um, the OC5 has a bit more grit to it, which is interesting. So one of the reasons I wanted to make this video is that the Boss OC2 is one of the favorite octave pedals for bass players around the world. It gives you that nice big fat synthy octave sound which not many other pedals can do exactly the same way that the original Boss does. Um, the original Boss Octaver is made in Japan. Um, I don't have one of those but I've got two made in Taiwan um, OC2 octaves from different eras. You can see they're slightly different colors in the video so one slightly older one's a bit a bit newer. They both run off the Boss ACA power supply which means um, it will accept 12 volts input so I was running them with my MXR power brick and I had the voltage set to 12, which definitely um, improves tracking. I know there are mods that can be done to um, OC2s to make them track better, or even just repairs, not even mods, where you can replace some components that maybe get a bit tired over the years. So if you've got an OC2 and you find that it's not tracking well, um, it could be a playing thing. I found that playing front pickup helps with tracking, rolling the tone back a bit, playing on the fatter strings. So instead of playing E on the G string at the ninth fret, you might want to play that on the 14th of the D string. One of the cool things about the new OC5 is it has an octave up setting, which you can blend in just the same as any of the other octaves. It has a switch, so you can select between vintage, which is meant to recreate the classic OC2 sound, and poly, which is more of the OC3 digital sound. Now it's an all digital pedal, and on the back of it, there is a switch to change between bass and guitar input. Like the OC3, it has two outputs, output, which has the effect on it, and direct out, which is clean. So you can split that up if you want to record, you could record a dry signal and then have the octave on another channel or depending how you want to set up your effects chain, it gives you that flexibility which is also cool. So one of the cool things about the OC5 is that it has a poly mode. So in octave up, you can actually play chords with it. 
the only thing I've found is that it can sound a little bit strange once you start to put in more jazz sounding chords, shall we say, um, with flat sevenths and the like. So it works really well with octaves, um, fifths, you know, um, anything that's really consonant sounds cool, but otherwise it can start to sound a little bit strange. So, does the OC5 replace the OC2? Yes and no, it does what the OC2 does very closely as you can hear, but it does sound and it does feel a little bit different. Whether that's a bad thing or not, that's up to you to decide. For me, um, I reckon I'm gonna swap out one of the OC2s on my board, just because in the blended setting, it sounds almost identical, got great tracking, but I also have the option of using the octave up, which I really like the sound of. So there you have it, the Boss OC5 and the Boss OC2 back to back. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe and share and I'll see you next time.